Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Leopold, back with another video. And yes, that is two videos in one week. Don't jinx it, just shh. Just a little disclaimer, this video is a collaboration, which means you're legally required to finish this video, and then in the end card, click on that video and watch that one, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is Maxwell. Excuse you. So in this video, I will be talking about famous YouTubers that I have personally met and my experience with them. I just want to let you know, I haven't met, like, rude YouTubers, so this video is not going to be super entertaining. But I just want to, like, get this stuff off my chest and let you know how nice some YouTubers are. So the first person I'm going to be talking about is Kevin Droniak. He has a YouTube channel with, I think, like, 600,000 subscribers with his grandma, which is such a cool idea. I love the videos. So a couple years ago, he went to college here in Chicago, where I live, and he was doing, like, a little talk, kind of meet up, cool little event thing. And I went, and as you guys might know, I wrote a book. Yep. So I brought it to the event and I handed it to him. Either he was faking it or he thought it was really cool. Uh, we took a picture. Okay. We took a picture, uh, we exchanged Snapchats, and we've been in touch ever since. We don't talk a lot, but we could, I guess. And I have noticed that he is subscribed to this channel, which is super cool. So if you're watching this, hello. So when I actually saw him at that event, he was so funny when he was actually talking, so personable, made everyone laugh, really cool guy. And then I saw him again a couple years ago at VidCon. I went to one of his panels to say hi. And then I saw him, I think the same day at the creator party, he was there. He went into my vlog. He's super nice. Um, one of those YouTubers that you can kind of tell through his videos that he like physically cannot be a jerk and then once you meet him in person it's confirmed because there are some people that you think like hmm are they just like kind of putting that on for the camera but Kevin is such a sincere awesome guy so shout out to him um, so that was like my first one of my first experiences I had met like I Justine and Miranda Sings before or Colleen sorry but that was one of the first experiences where you know we actually like chatted so the second really cool experience was a guy you might know him his name is Ricky Dillon so I was at VidCon second floor where all the cool creators go not not like featured creators just people that pay more money for special badges so I was I think live streaming or maybe vlogging and I was just walking like kind of pacing the floor because I didn't know anyone there um, so I was like alone but I was live streaming, so it was cool. And this guy came up to me and was like, hey, can you turn off the live stream for a second? I'm like, uh-huh, why? And he's like, well, I didn't actually say that, but he said like, I'm currently shooting a commercial with Ricky Dillon. Do you know him? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know him. And we are doing a whole anti-bullying campaign. Do you know it's called I Am A Witness? There's like a special emoji. Do you want to be in the commercial? I said, huh, let me, yes, yeah, uh, yes, I would, yeah, for sure, definitely. So, though I didn't make the final cut for the commercial, I got to sit, we, I played like a couple games, like guess the emoji or act out the emoji or something, with Ricky Dillon with this huge camera, microphone, he got to say hi to my vlog, I roll the clip. At VidCon and this is... Ricky and I'm here with Oliver, hey! Yeah. So of course it wasn't like Ricky's natural environment. He wasn't like vlogging or filming something for his own channel. Um, he was probably being paid to do this video and I was just like one of the guests. And I can see how a typical YouTuber would just like say hi, thanks for doing this, whatever. But he took the time after we were done shooting to get in my vlog, say hi, take a picture. He was super nice. Um, obviously I don't have the actual footage of what we shot, but I feel like it turned out well. We, as I said, we played like guess the emoji and all sorts of different games and it was so much fun. He seemed like such a sincere, funny guy who I definitely would have loved to spend like 10 more minutes with. So again, I'm sorry that I'm not like spilling the tea, um, but I just meet so many nice people, you know? 
So Ricky was super funny. Um, and I actually have a cool story and theory about Ricky. So make sure you send this to Ricky so he can confirm it. Ricky, you probably don't remember me, but maybe this will ring some bells. Okay, so we were at VidCon. He knew my name, right? So I said, hi, I'm Oliver. I said that on camera and off camera. And I told him, I'm here with Oliver. So I wasn't like a huge Ricky Dillon fan, but I knew of him and I've watched some of his videos. The next day I checked his Twitter. He got a new dog. Guess what he named the dog? Literally guess what he named the dog? Oliver. Whenever I tell this story to people, they're like, yeah, nice coincidence. I'm genuinely convinced Ricky Dillon named his dog after me, okay? So that might have seemed like some clickbait in the title, like Ricky Dillon named his dog. I'm genuinely convinced. So please send this to Ricky Dillon so he can confirm it. Please, please. The third and final person I am talking about is uh, the Gabby. Is uh, the Gabby show. So the Gabby show is hilarious. Um, I was watching her when she was on Vine before she made her transition onto YouTube. Now she's like super popular, like super popular. Like, you know you're popular when you're in drama with rice gum. Like, wow. Phone in my face, now her screen cracked. So I was walking like on the floor and this was before Gabby was super popular. So just a few people came up to her. I came up to her, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're the Gabby show. She's like, yeah. We were talking for like 10 minutes. I saw these band-aids on her leg and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you okay? She's like, yeah, when I was coming over here, I spilled my oatmeal on my leg and everyone started laughing. She was just so funny and I didn't want to stop talking to her. She was, I keep saying this, she was funny, sincere. She just seemed like just a fun person to talk to. She seemed like she was not just like, like, hey, you want to take a picture? She was like, hey, do you want to take a picture? Like, let's chat. Let's have a genuine conversation. Like, what's your channel? Like, who are you? Like, all sorts of fun, cool stuff. So then she went to the bathroom. And I was really, really mad. Because I wanted to keep talking to her. Because she seemed so funny. I wanted to take more pictures. I just, I couldn't get enough of her. So she went to the bathroom. At this point, I had met someone named Annika. And we had met the Gabby show together. So I said, Annika. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna stay right here. You're gonna go to the bathroom and keep a lookout for the Gabby show. And you're gonna text me once she's coming out so I can act like I'm just like walking by again. Annika wasn't really fond of the idea of just standing, standing alert um, in the bathroom for her. Um, but she ended up coming back out, talked for like a minute more, then she asked the little group around her how she could get like to the Musical.ly stage downstairs. So I pointed her in the direction. Now I wish I'd like walked her there cause that would have been lit, but kind of weird. Um, I know I'm like fangirling or fanboying over this, but she was just so sweet, so sincere, so funny. And if I ever get to run into her again, I'd be happy. Okay, now is the time. So in a minute after I do my outro, you're gonna see an end end card the little little square rectangle you're going to click on it and watch that video because this year Annika who's the one I did the collab with I'm doing the collab with this year she went to VidCon and she went to like VidCon backstage or whatever it's called so she has stories about like Joey Graceffa Tyler Oakley and I'm sure she has some pretty cool stories about that so make sure you click that button ready thank you guys so much for watching here's the button peace